Welcome to the Daily Dose, your go-to channel for the latest news updates. Stay informed and subscribe now. Today we'll be discussing a tragic incident that occurred at the Flinders Medical Center in South Adelaide, Australia. It's a story that has left many people heartbroken and outraged. On August 31, 2021, baby Bodhi Leo Searle passed away just one day after he was born at the Flinders Medical Center. His death has now been deemed potentially preventable, and here's why. After the baby was born, his abnormal heartbeat went unnoticed for 26 minutes. Instead of checking on the newborn baby, the nursing staff at the hospital accidentally monitored the baby's mother's heart rate, which was normal, instead. This simple error led to a tragedy that could have been avoided. Following the newborn's death, Australian coroner Naomi Carew led an investigation into the matter. During the inquiry, it was revealed that the hospital staff had mistakenly monitored the mother's heart rate instead of the baby's. If they had learned about the abnormal heart rate in the minutes after delivery, the baby's death could have been prevented. Diana Searle, the baby's mother, had a normal pregnancy leading up to Bodhi's birth. She checked into the Flinders Medical Center on her 30th birthday to receive treatment from the experts in residence there. Unfortunately, her planned midwife was sick. So she was put under the care of midwife Stephanie Geyer and first-year student midwife Thea Koch. Geyer first noticed that something was abnormal about Bodhi's heart rate at 11.26 p.m. The pregnant mom was taken to the medical ward where she was set up for CTG monitoring at about 11.44 p.m. However, at approximately 12.15 a.m., it was identified that for around 30 minutes, the CTG trace had been recording the maternal heart rate and not the fetal. Bodhi was delivered before 1 a.m. without instrumental intervention. Unfortunately, his health was failing, and he was suffering from abnormal brain activity. It took Bodhi 18 minutes before he took his first breath after birth. He was taken to the neonatal intensive care unit, where doctors found he was suffering from abnormal brain activity. Bodhi died a day later at 1.18 p.m. on August 31, 2021. This is a tragedy that should never have happened. It's a heartbreaking story that highlights the importance of proper monitoring and medical care for newborn babies. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Searle family during this difficult time. That's it for today's episode of The Daily Dose. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.